So in the videos that I've been making using these Python examples, I've been using Python 2. I've been using Python 2, which is kind of the standard version of Python that most implementations are in at the time of making this video. But there is also a Python 3. There is also a Python 3, which is kind of the state of the art version of Python, or I guess you could say it's the newest version of Python, but it's not backwards compatible. And when I say backwards compatible, it means that if you're running Python 3, it will not necessarily be able to interpret any everything that is written in Python 2. So that's what we mean by backwards compatibility. You can't take a program, you can't take a program that was written in Python 2. So let's take a program. That's the program right there. And let's say it runs it runs fine in Python 2. If you take that same program and try to run it in a Python 3 interpreter, it's not going to work. So this means so this is not backwards compatible backwards compatible. If this did work, then Python 3 would be backwards compatible. And the whole reason, well, you know, this is actually a nice understanding of what even backwards compatibility means. But the whole point of making this video is that the, the, the program that I ran in the last video will work in Python 2. It will work in Python 2, but it will not work in Python 3. And it, the reason why it doesn't work in Python 3 is that Python 3 has a different version of this input function of this input function over here. In Python 2, if you if you if you use the input function just like I used it and it you know I put some I put some I put some uh, I put a a message here for the user of what to input and when the user inputs something it'll be returned to the program it'll be returned to the program fully evaluated so in this case if the user enters a number I get the number as a number so I literally get the I get an evaluated I get the evaluated expression evaluated expression so like we saw in the last few examples if the user puts in a 4 then the number 4 will be put in the variable number if the user inputs literally 3 plus 4 then the number 7 will be put into the variable into the variable number in Python 3, the input function does something slightly different. And it's enough to break this program if you were to try to run it in Python 3. In Python, in Python 3, the input function, the input function doesn't return an evaluated expression. It, it, it returns a string. And this is a, a word you're going to hear a lot of in computer science, and I'll explain it in multiple videos. But it returns a string, a string of of what the user input user inputted. And you, you're saying, Sal, what is a string? And this is actually a good introduction. A string is a string of characters. So to, to maybe make the difference, if I if the user inputs if the user inputs right over here, so this is from coming from the user, if the user inputs if the user inputs in the Python 2 version two times six, then what will be stored in the variable number will be the two times the six. So it will be twelve. It'll actually be evaluated. In Python 3, if the if we just did this and the user inputted two times six, so once again the user inputs two times six, then what's stored in the variable number, what's returned from this function right over here, is not going to be two times six evaluated. It is going to be a string of characters that says two times six. So this is ex this this string and string is really you can just view it as a string of characters. It's a it's you can kind of view it as, as some text of of uh, that, that's not actually interpreted in any way. So it'll actually return that string of characters. And then you'd have that string of characters put here in number, and then the function here range would break down because like I'm trying to take the range of like a word, not like a number here. So that's why it would break in Python three. So if you want that original function to work in Python three, what you have to do is put an so instead of just calling input like this you have to and I'll write it below this you would have to write eval eval and then write input it, you, and then you would write input and then in quotes all of the stuff that I wrote up here colons close quote close parentheses and then close and then close the eval parentheses right over there. And what eval does is it can take a string of characters. It can take some text like this, and it'll evaluate it. So what happens is, is that in Python 3, you'll get this string, and then when you eval it, so then you would do an eval on this. So you do an eval on this. So you're doing an eval on the input. 
the user puts some input, so then you're doing an eval on what the user inputted, and then this will return, and then this will return, this will return 12. So in Python 2, the input function kind of does it all for you. Python 3, it returns a string, and then you have to evaluate the string to get 12. So if you try to do this on Python 3 and it broke, that is the reason why. You've got to put an eval around it.